Woodstock's educational philosophy is known as eliciting greatness. This theme comes from the work of John Buchan, the great Scottish statesman and writer. He once said, our task is not to put the greatness into humanity, but to elicit it, for the greatness is there already. A Woodstock education is deliberately holistic, allowing young people to encounter experiences across an enormous range of dimensions. When we think about education, we're interested in creating a coherent experience for young people. And to do that, we use the metaphor of a tree. The roots of the tree represent a profound sense of self. The trunk represents healthy interpersonal relationships. The fruit that we want to send out into the world are individuals who care about their environment, who have compassion for their neighbors and work to improve the future, uh, and who are equipped to bring about change. And the moment we start talking about the transfer of a way of life for young people, we're talking about values, we're talking about philosophy, we're talking about combining high academic achievement with the acquisition of certain qualities of character. I chose Woodstock essentially for the philosophy. The human is at the center of the approach to education and every decision that's made. And then you see a school that is offering this opportunity to practice it. It's, it's almost, I mean, it's once in a lifetime. The humanity that's found in this approach, it's not how can we um, get the highest test scores, how can we get the most publicity. It's truly about the student at the center. Experiential education is not a replacement for traditional education, but it provides the student with a pathway of learning that teaches them how they learn. It focuses on collaboration, not competition. An example of a collaborative project is the cooperation between robotics and astronomy and code academy, math department, junior school, where we're putting together a professional weather station. The kids come into the classroom and they bring their own individual strengths and talents. I identify the things that they're bringing and I provide them with opportunities and I provide them with questions, habits of the mind, tools to help hone the things that they already have. As Dean of Enrichment, I help provide opportunities for students to develop their passions and interests outside of the classroom. These opportunities are all encompassed into what is called our Passage Program, which includes the mainstream opportunities of art, music, drama, sports, as well as any other things that our staff or students are interested in pursuing. In physical education at Woodstock, we try and find what drives the kids, what motivates the kids internally instead of externally. And hopefully this inspires them not only to stay active in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. More than learning the facts and figures needed in a classroom environment, the enrichment program, I believe, provides a great opportunity for students to grow in their character and to grow as a person. If I know my students are passionate about a lifetime of physical activity, then I've done my job as a teacher. Plato once said that young people should be educated in places of outstanding beauty, because the beauty without resonates with the beauty of reason within. The Hannibal Center is a key component in our students embracing the outdoors and creating a stronger bond with the environment. The outdoors can be used in many ways in education. We can use it as a subject within itself. We can use it as a context for academic study, or we can use it as an environment to create personal development. So recently I had an opportunity to take the AP Environmental Science students from Woodstock School to Rajaji National Park. Apart from the excitement of seeing elephants, I think they learned three important things. The animal-human conflict, they learned about how rivers are an integral part of the village as well as the animal life and more importantly how forests are lungs of the global ecosystem. Leadership at Woodstock isn't only about learning how to lead, it's also about learning how to follow, learning how to serve. As Mahatma Gandhi said, in gentle ways we can shake the world. 
Most students at Woodstock come from really privileged backgrounds and it is important that they learn their social responsibility during these formative years. Things like leadership, service, humbleness. Just a short walk from our front gate is another school where they don't have all the advantages and facilities that we have. On Saturday mornings, students go and spend time teaching English, interacting, doing artwork, playing games with the students there. And they come away having received as much as they've given. Providing an education in a caring and compassionate community for Woodstock has been very important, and especially for me since I've been working in the residences for the last 15 years. The most important part of the day is perhaps lights out, because that's when the students share with you what is bothering them, you know, be it academics, their performance in school, be it the relationships that they have with their classmates or with teachers. I joined Woodstock more than 30 years ago and I have enjoyed every bit of my time here because of the diversity and the acceptance of diversity. There were 38 different nationalities at that time when I first joined Woodstock and people were accepting of ethnicities, of languages, of food, I did not feel different in any way. In a really diverse community, we discover ourselves for who we really are. I learned from my colleagues, I learned from my students, and uh, it really has been a beautiful journey. A Woodstock education is challenging, engaging, and experiential. We may never know from which of a young person's many academic classes, interests, hobbies and activities, they might one day find their grand passion in life. And that's the reason why Woodstock takes questions of philosophy seriously. It's a philosophy which says, it's not enough to have information in your heads. You have to have young people who acquire a vision and a passion in their hearts.